With us in the studio is the Palestinian ambassador, Professor Manuel Hassassian. Good morning. Good morning Thank you, you for joining us this morning. Now, um, <clears throat> Both sides in this conflict uh, are obviously, you know, it was ongoing rockets being fired. What is it going to take to bring this situation under control? Well, actually, first of all, Israel has to stop its military incursions in the West Bank and in Gaza. And this thing has been going on for a long period of time. I mean, in order to de-escalate, I think Israel should stop its raids on Gaza. I think Hamas will respond by not uh, launching any rockets. And I think Israel should stop, you know, the building of settlements and go back to the negotiating table. But, but they say that the rockets should stop firing from Gaza and then that could lead to a resolution of the situation, couldn't it? it I, th I don't think, you know, uh, the situation is the way you describe it. It's not only the rockets. It's the occupation. The Israeli occupation for the last 47 years have been submitting and subduing the Palestinian people into humiliation, confiscating land, demolishing houses, and what have you. This is the core issue. It's not the issue of launching rockets, because the spiral of violence has been action-reaction. Palestinians in Gaza today are unarmed. The only thing that they have to do, you know, being not, under siege not, for so many, they're, so, they're not, for so many years. One of the issues is, of course, that right now, Right now, the settlements aren't going to end right now. That's a whole different matter. We want to try and end, or what you, what's important is that yeah. they end the violence that is happening right now, and it's being escalated every day. And it certainly doesn't help with Hamas saying that all Israelis are now targets as well. There is responsibility on both sides of this argument. You have but to agree with that. the indiscriminate shootings and the airstrikes But of you have Israelis. to agree there is responsibility on both sides, though. Well, there is no both sides, because you cannot equate the occupier with the occupied, my friend. The problem here, we are suffering under occupation for so many years now. 73 people have been killed, 540. All are innocent. Not all of them are armed or Hamas. Entire families have been massacred by air raids. And it's not fair to put the Israelis today with their brute force against, against you know, innocent civilians but the Israelis, and say... But the Israelis and say, will argue, though, that lots of Israelis have lost their lives in, in no, this No, they did not well. lose any lives. Give me statistics about all the shootings that have taken place from Hamas against Israel. How many Israelis have been killed? I, I can't give you those statistics, but... No, that, because there argue. is none. There is none. But they feel under threat because of the constant fire that's coming what up from Gaza. What about feeling us, uh, we, under threat constantly in the West Bank? Of course, but they will say yes. that if the rocket fire stops, then it may be able to lead to a situation where more talks can take place. But while that rocket fire is continuing, they feel that they're defending themselves what about, against What that. about the indiscriminate killing in East Jerusalem and in the West Bank? Are there, fire, are there rockets being fired from the West Bank? So, well, the situation is, though, so at the moment... What's, the how, how, how do we deal with this situation? How do we if, deal if with we, the situation? If we Once talk about Gaza launching continues. rockets from Gaza, that's the excuse to give the green light for Israel, to annihilate an, an entire families, you know, and the destruction of the total infrastructure in Gaza. Is this an excuse of using brute force against innocent civilians? I question why Israel today in the West Bank, in Jerusalem, in the cities of Ramallah, Nablus and what have you, where there has been total collaboration on security with the Palestinian authorities, still indiscriminately all these military actions by Israel has been taking place. Are rockets being launched from the West Bank? Mm. How do you justify this? Mm. We look at the situation as follows. If Israel stops its killings and its air raids, and if Israel understands that there is no military solution to this conflict, we have to go back to the negotiating table. And Israel has dismally failed the peace process. Mm. This is by the American uh, uh, spokespersons and by John Kerry and Martin Indyk. Mm. We were not responsible for breaking the, 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 okay. the talks. Okay. We well, listen, we're going to have to leave it there. I'm very sorry. I know there are strong opinions on both sides on this one, but we do appreciate you coming in to talk you. to us. Professor Hassassian, thanks Thank very, very much. much.